At the city's maintenance complex, crews were eating lunch during the calm before the storm. Once Hurricane Nicole hits, they won't have time to relax. Some of these guys worked on Florida's ravaged west coast after Hurricane Ian. They don't expect Nicole to be anywhere near as bad, but... Never know what happened. After seeing what happened on the West Coast firsthand, Curtis Williams was quick to volunteer to work this entire storm closer to home. I have friends and family that's here, and I would want someone to help me, so of course, I, if I'm able, I'm, I'm going to do it. Brandon Joe was among those honored earlier for helping save a man who'd attempted suicide. For him, signing on to the hurricane crew was a no-brainer. Uh, it's our job. This is what we signed up for. We do it every day. Pre-Nicole tasks included sandbagging around their work area, but once the storm gets here, even if it's only a Cat 1 hurricane, their primary job is a critical one. We're trying to prevent sewage from going into the streets, uh, a body of water. And while it's hoped Hurricane Nicole goes easy on us, Mayor James says no matter what happens, it's good to know these hardworking crews have our backs. They are taking time away from their own families, spend the night probably sleeping in sleeping bags, but to be ready at the drop of a hat to go help clean up the city and make the road safe and our city safe for our residents. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.